a lot of clients have been looking at their results and I think there has been a trend that we've seen that more and more I guess organic results organic search traffic has dropped year on year uh, and a lot of question marks have been raised by a lot of clients asking us why why are we seeing less traffic to what we seen last year we're doing a lot of work we're working really hard and so not in all cases but definitely in some cases we are seeing that there is this sort of fluctuation in in traffic year on year is that something that you've seen in some of the clients that you're working yeah on? De- definitely yeah def- definitely a few um and again it, it seems to be a certain as as there usually is with updates a, a larger impact on some than others um and again this isn't widespread um at all but certainly those uh your money or your life type uh clients are are the ones that are seemingly uh more heavily impacted than those that maybe aren't don't operate in those um in those areas so yeah i think that's i think that's fair to say um i think yeah that's as you say your money or your life i think there's uh an element around the eat so the e e a t uh expertise what's the other e i've completely forgotten <laughs> experience, it experience experience thank you authority, authority trust. trust it's you get one of the e's but you can't remember the yeah, other one yeah. um so experience expertise authority and trust um and it's really i think the websites that we're seeing are websites with a lot of content and a lot of pages are being hit more more so than any other website so essentially the more content that you've got on your website the more likely it is that you're ultimately going to be impacted by some of the updates that have taken place so i guess to kind of we've been dancing around i guess a bit of this topic of what is the state of seo uh and the state really is just that we've had a lot of updates recently Mm. um so i'm just looking here at a list we've got there's an august core update there was the helpful content update that happened in september last year october core update the november 2023 reviews update the november 2023 core update and then we've recently and we're kind of in the middle of or right at the tail end of the march core update which is happening in march 2024 so the basically all of these updates are happening and i guess the question is what does this even mean (laughs) what are we talking about when we're saying that there are core updates um and essentially it's google is reviewing the way that it is ranking the the web pages that it's indexing in its search engine is that fair to say yeah i think so so there are there are i can't remember the specific um the specific uh name for it but obviously google has a set of guidelines that it adheres to to make sure that you know it is constantly serving up the most relevant result based on the intent of a specific search term that the users might be uh, that users are using um and that's you know billions per day kind of thing i don't think it's um a hyperbole to say that uh you know it probably is that that figure across the world (laughs) could be more could be more could be trillions yeah um gajillions um we can make up numbers we can make it yeah (laughs) so um yeah so this is that's essentially what it what it relates to that that those search ratings and how google uh determines which content should essentially appear at the top uh for any given search term so yeah i think that's yeah that's a fair assumption and like you said there are sort of have been six or seven quite significant updates in the past 12 months and then even before that we had you know the helpful content update phase one type of thing so there's been there has been a lot over the past 12 to 18 months that um you know us seos need to be aware of because it keeps us on our little seo toes well exactly and it's really just a case that all of these updates are as you mentioned there's the helpful content update That was kind of the first almost domino that was Google is having a really, I guess, like close look at the content that everyone is pushing out and, you know, trying to rank their websites using and ultimately trying to find the best content that answers any given query that's out there. And so if somebody's searching for something on Google with any given query, the results that people want to see are going to be the, you know, the the results that best answer that given query 
and I think that there has been probably you know over the past year over two years etc you know the history of content on the internet people recognizing that this is a search query and this is good enough to answer that search query where now Google's digging a little deeper into that and trying to understand okay this is the search query what is the best possible answer to for any any given query and a, a lot of these updates are really around that so the big question and the big sort of takeaway from I guess this discussion is with all of these updates you have to look and review all of the content on your website to honestly answer is this the best is this the best answer to a given search query so understanding this is this is the query and this is the answer and is your content answering that given query and if it's not then you need to fix that ultimately Re yeah Re review what you're doing so yeah i mean the one thing that you know we would we would take from this and sort of, i guess one of the first port of calls would be content uh, an audit on the content like definitely you can see you can check in um you know i'm using i guess a mix of google analytics or google search console you can see how users are finding the website finding the specific pages and then engaging with those specific pages and if you notice that actually you've got a big bulk of of pages that people just are not engaging with um then google's going to see that as a bit of a red flag and probably not serve that content up as much it's obviously not providing value um so you know if you get high exit rates high bounce rates things like that then um they're sort of core f you know prime for either updating to optimize against sort of a specific keyword new keyword targets um or removing that content there's no harm in removing content that is not performing well um because I, yeah. sorry to interrupt but i think that that's something that everyone's very worried about yeah the and that was a big part of the helpful content update and things that have subsequently rolled out since is looking at what is the content that's actually on the site and if there's content that is not performing it pulls down the other content that's on the site as well so all of the content has to be performing extremely well and if it's not and if there's even just one or two pages they could be dragging down the performance of the whole website yeah that's exactly it there's no there's no harm you need to think holistically about the the overall value that your website is providing and i think like with with ai and chat gpt and bard and Geminized and is it called cool, cool now for bards maybe anyway you're uh, living in the past subtopic <laughs> um the with with the fact that people can just produce you know relatively low content very quickly with just a few prompts it's even more important that um you are providing unique high quality content now these updates when they happen are you know it means there's a bit bit of volatility but actually if you're still adhering to the specific guidelines of creating really good helpful high quality content that is unique and demonstrates your expertise in a specific area then over time you ultimately will be you will be fine likewise you know thinking about your off-site um uh your off-site metrics like the links that are, that are pulling through if you've got loads of spammy links then that's going to bring your site down so tidying that up and making sure that you know you've got some really good signals going into your site as well from valuable websites and things like that again all of these things just having a bit of a, a spring clean a sense check is is always worth doing so and actually you know you're standing good stead then just doing that for the future yes there will be fluctuations but ultimately in the, in the long term you should be you should be fine so you know ultimately these things are good to be aware of um but ultimately but the best practices still mean that you will be you should be fine in the long run i think yeah and I guess to sort of wrap this up, we'd love to hear from you. If you feel like you've been impacted by any of these recent updates, please get in touch with us at podcast at opticsolutions.co.uk. Um, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and whether you've kind of experienced some of this. Also, kind of what we do every day is looking at this and trying to support and help our clients. So if you would like some advice, if you would like to know how to perform some kind of a content audit, um, this could be done through the academy or you can just reach out to us and we can give you a hand so mm. either well we keep talking about this we're everywhere <laughs> we, are, we are everywhere youtube tiktok uh, yellow pages exactly Maybe not on the yellow page well you could definitely find us you could google us <laughs> uh but yeah get in touch we'd love to give you a hand